what if i told you we can solve climate change and the coal crisis with less than 600 dollars here is how my startup won first place from stanford and at the end of the video i will tell how you can help us to save the world i am jagan an eighth grade student from india and ceo of samurai velocity startup in let's know with 24 members in 10 countries from 3rd to 11th grade. Well, what do we do? We build mods which are 3D interactive animations and they are the best way to attract customers. And we are also a funded startup with 300,000 plus mod bit or $1,600. We have worked on many other projects and quests such as turning a painting by Kandinsky to a game NFT for which we have won first place. You can know more about us on www.samuraivelocity.com. Our biggest project is a plant that can solve climate change and replace coal for electricity. But before I tell you that magical plant, you might be wondering, wait, isn't solar and wind supposed to be the future? Well, yes, but they have some problems, like the output varies and it is hard to recycle. And luckily tech is advancing and these problems are slowly getting solved. But however, plants have figured out a solution millions of years back. They knew solar is the way to go and their leaves are like nature's solar panels. So it makes sense to use this energy. But the problem is it takes years for these plants to grow. So we need a plant that can grow as fast as a grass but as strong as a tall tree. And that magical plant is... Bamboo. Yes, bamboo. It is the fastest growing plant, stronger than steel and can survive even in harsh conditions like drought. And most importantly, it is actually a type of grass, so it will grow back once you cut it. We plan to convert coal power plants to bamboo biomass plant. Coal is just compressed plant matter or biomass, so normal biomass will also work in the same process. Here's how it works. I'm going to explain it using mods made in Let's Mod. So buckle up for a journey. Here we are. In coal power plants, coal is stored in a place called the coal yard. When we convert it into a bamboo biomass plant, we will grow bamboo in the coal yard since it's resistant to drought. It will be watered by the already existing sprinklers that was used for pre-wetting and cleaning the coal. The bamboo is then harvested with a chainsaw attached to a wheel loader. It is not deforested because the bamboo stems grow back after cutting since it's a grass. Half of this bamboo is crushed using a sawdust machine and a pulverizer and is finally burnt to generate electricity. The CO2 generated by burning will be absorbed again by the bamboo, making it carbon neutral. Other gases like carbon monoxide will be absorbed by a small number of bamboo palm planted in a few planters. Now the other half is where the magic happens. The bamboo absorbs CO2 from air and the logs are sold to other companies to make other products such as limestone, fabric, soil, etc where the CO2 is locked in such products. This makes it carbon negative. If we convert just one 4000 megawatt power plant, we can produce the same electricity and reduce more than 9 million tons of CO2. That is 60,000 blue whales or the weight of 18 Burj Khalifas. On top of that, it will generate half a million dollars of profit, even if we sell a 20 feet log at less than one dollar. I will talk about the cost in a few minutes, but first you might be thinking, well, how do we convert a coal power plant into a bamboo biomass plant? Well, here's our plan and business model. Okay, so our business model has four phases. First is prepare, that is getting the rhizomes, bamboo varieties, modifying wheel loaders for harvesting and buying a sawdust machine. 
next is transition and then is sequester where half of the bamboo is carbon negative and sold for other products now here's where the twist comes we get money from selling the bamboo and that is used to convert a new coal power plant so it ends in a positive feedback loop finally some of this profit is used to plant bamboo palm which absorbs other gases so that it is completely eco-friendly but the real question is how much the does it cost well if we convert that 4000 megawatt coal power plant it costs over a hundred thousand dollars which is four times profitable but thanks to a subsidy in india that covers the cost of planting rhizomes in private land it costs only six hundred dollars that is eight hundred times profitable all of this might sound too good to be true then why hasn't it been done before well, this idea of co-fining is not new. The problem is this process involves deforestation, release of other harmful gases, requires huge amounts of land and is only carbon neutral. However, ours is carbon negative, doesn't require any extra land and takes care of other gases. Reason no one has converted a coal power plant to bamboo biomass plant is because of efficiency for the same amount of electricity you need a lot more bamboo our solution was a sawdust machine and then the pulverizer that makes it more efficient just like a liquid such as petroleum now finally the biggest question you might have is how can i help if you are above 18 here's how you can contribute this solution needs to reach the right people so that we can do it in real life and to reach them click on the like button so that the youtube algorithm can recommend it to others well if you are under 18 just join our startup for free using this link www.samuraivelocity.com slash join or click on it from the description our team plans on working on so many other projects related to the metaverse and nfts and more i hope you like this solution and as always thanks for watching and be a change maker